Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, today I want to talk about a subject that's come up in some of the uh, Facebook pages, some of the blogs, and it has to do with um, running our tanks uh, at a lot higher nitrate levels than uh, is is the norm or is the uh, is the conventional wisdom within the hobby. And I started thinking about this, and uh, I mean, some folks were claiming that our fish can be okay in nitrate levels up to 10 times higher than the ones that we're, that we're currently considering safe. I mean, I'm talking about 200, 400, or higher parts per million as actually being okay. And there were even some, um, some studies that were cited uh, at universities and things of this nature uh, that were saying that this was the case. So I started thinking about this and I, and I and you know I've got I've got three words uh, for those kinds of studies and uh, you can call me a skeptic but uh, it's follow the money. Follow the money on those studies. Very often those studies that determine whether or not fish can survive under very high nitrate conditions are, are being uh, put forward or funded by uh, companies that are involved in the farming of fish for consumption. And what they're trying to do, of course, is come up with justification and, uh, and science, quote unquote science, to back up why it's okay to keep fish in a very high nitrate environment because these fish, these farmed fish, which by the way I stay away from, uh, these farmed fish uh, for consumption are, are living in very, very crowded conditions. And, uh, and because of that, they live in very high nitrate. And so because of that, they need to have something that shows that these fish are gonna be safe for consumption. So, um, personally, uh, you know, I could probably put uh, 50 dogs in a, in a two-car garage and, you know, occasionally, uh, occasionally uh, shovel out the, uh, the poop and, and uh, hose it down and, and maybe, uh, you know, keep some water and food in there. That doesn't mean that that's the way I want to keep my dogs. So... Um, when I hear of these studies, I, I think of two things. One, I think of, of, of big agra, you know, large, large manufacturing, uh, sort of factory food organizations that are trying to justify keeping uh, uh, fish in non-optimum conditions and, make, and claiming that they are safe for consumption and that it's humane. And, uh, and second, I think that um, there are some fish keepers out there that could be lazy and and they are going to find they are going to find the things that will um, justify or rationalize their laziness now i'm open i'm open to hear all sides of the argument i'm not somebody who likes to live in an echo chamber so if you are running tanks at very high nitrate levels and and feel you've had success with that and feel that you have some research and personal experience that tells you that's okay post it below i'd love to i'd love to hear your comment i'd love to see the links to the research that you actually have found that makes that okay but uh, for me i'm going to continue to uh, shoot for the 40 or less uh, and ideally even lower parts per million on nitrate and uh, and someday, someday maybe even uh, achieve that holy grail of a tank that fully cycles, like our friend uh, the pond guru likes to talk about. And I think with a sump in the tank behind me, and a uh, and parts in the sump where there is a a, a lower uh, gallon per hour, like in the very end of the sump, uh, perhaps loading that up with with great. Uh, great bio uh, media that might actually be able to give me a complete cycle where uh, nitrates are uh, are no longer something of concern. At the same time, I would continue to do water changes because 
water changes are for more than just reducing nitrates, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. That's my two cents on uh, people who wanna run tanks with extremely high nitrate levels or feel that that's okay. Uh, this is not a knock on you. If you have healthy fish and a healthy, what you feel looks like a healthy ecosystem with fish that are not getting sick and that are living nice, long, healthy lives and you're running at a very high nitrate, level i want to hear about it below tell me your experience tell me how many years you've been running um, and maybe even direct me to a channel where uh, i can see your tank because i'd love to see it otherwise uh, when i follow the money i don't like those re <laughs> i don't like that research because uh because they can live and uh and be butchered for for consumption doesn't necessarily mean that that's the way i want these guys behind me here to be living in the uh, in the jungle that you see behind me <laughs> okay so that's my two cents thank you so much comment below be sure to hit that bell there's a bell down here somewhere hit that bell so you get notifications and be sure to visit on facebook we can expand the conversation there at ben o apostrophe cichlid and also follow on instagram ben.o.cichlid Thank you so much. You know you're appreciated. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.